Hello, welcome to Belize. I am in Corzal town in northern Belize. I am at the beautiful Sunshine View Hotel, right on the beach in northern Belize. You come here for holiday. This is the best place to be. The rooms are beautiful. The grounds are beautiful. There's people in the hotels. You see lights on in those rooms. They actually have customers. Right now, the tourism business in Belize is really bad because of this pandemic. But I talked to them and they said they actually have people in the rooms. So that's a good thing. Right here, they are building a brand new restaurant. This here is the office building. I think the owners might live upstairs. Here they build a new restaurant and they have a pool, but they're making it bigger. They also have a dock where you can come with your yacht. It's 600 feet long. You can tie up your, your yacht or your power boat or whatever on that. And I am here doing a little beer review. This is the condensed version. We did a longer version and this is the condensed version. So we're going to try these beers. So we're going to start with Belican beer, the original beer from 1969 and see what it's like. I did it other review in a glass and now I'm going to do it the way a real drunkard does it. Suck it out of the bottle and see what it tastes like. Belican beer, good beer, very good beer. The original beer of Belize, the very first beer ever brewed in this country comes from here by the Bone Bone Company, also known as Belize Brewing Company. Next, I'm going to try their second product ever brewed in Belize. It's Belican Stout. This is the second beer they ever brewed. Stout, it's a lot stronger. You know, it's got a lot stronger alcohol content. Can I see it? Where is it? It's a 6.5 alcohol content. Smells nice. Sweet, foamy, delicious. Recommended. The third product they ever produced is Lighthouse Lager. Lighthouse Lager, originally only ladies just drink it. Take a look at the label. And what's the alcohol content? 4.2% alcohol content. This lighthouse here is the Bliss Lighthouse. Baron Bliss came to Belize and he donated when he died all his money. And they built this lighthouse for him. And the beer's called Lighthouse. So let me taste it. I don't like it. I never liked Lighthouse Lager. After Sir Barry Bowen died in a tragic airplane accident, his sons took over the company and they had new ideas. And they started by introducing Landshark Lager. That's what they introduced. Landshark Lager is actually owned by the Margaritaville company, you know, from Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville. 4.8% alcohol, 275 milliliters. And let's see what it tastes like. This is good stuff. This is a real lager. Of course, this is an American company also. Uh, well, backed by American company. Great taste. Also started by Sir Bear Bowen's kids. They started making this here. 501 lager. It's 4.9% alcohol, 275 milliliter bottle. Attractive bottle, pretty clear. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, I don't like the taste. And then they also made, the Bone Bone Company also made this. 501 Stout. It is 4.9% alcohol, 275 milliliter bottle. Special brew, 501 Stout. Let's see what it's like. Good. I like it. Smooth. 
very very nice so the big competitor oh i found one that i forgot oh look at this belican light this is they introduce this they introduce this for the wimpy people wimpy people drink light beer according to what people in belize so belican light let's see what's like Yeah, nasty. A new company came to Belize. It's Chinese owned and operated. And the first beer they ever made is called Mine Beer. The name is just horrible. I hate the name. The label's okay. It looks attractive, but the name, like, why are you gonna name a beer Mine Beer? Have you no imagination? Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes good. It's a lager. And four point, let me wipe off the sweat off the bottle. 4.7% alcohol. It's got a good taste. I like it. Very good. Is my audio on? Yes, it is. Another beer produced in Belize by the same company. It's called Pirate Beer. I love the label. If I'm sitting on a beach, this is the beer label that, I, this is the label I want on the beer that I'm drinking. I mean like tropical, beautiful label. 4.9% alcohol, 285 milliliter bottle. The bottle looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. Eh, okay, not great. And last but not least is the Pirate Stout. I love this label even more. Black with gold. You got a pirate with the swords behind him. You got the skull. I mean, awesome looking. 6.5% alcohol, 285 milliliter bottle. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Disgusting. That was nasty. I actually had to spit it out. Oh, I couldn't swallow it. So there you go, an abbreviated version of all the beers and stouts available in Belize. Hey, let me set this up in the order by which I think they're good. You know? That's a good thing. Mm, let's see. I'll go there, they'll go there. They'll go there. It'll go from better to worse. So I've set up here the beers, what I think about them, best, second best, third best, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, disgusting. No insult to the company, but you know, that's just my taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I drank too much damn beer, but I'm doing it for you. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Smash a like. Give us some comments. Tell us what you think about Belizean beer. Because some of you have drank Belizean beer. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.